Urban Therapy with Sun, Sun 752, and this is your daily go get a mism number 76 for December 20th, 2014. Today I want to talk a little bit about violence, domestic violence, a little bit. I, I don't want to get into it like that. I really want to just ask y'all a question. Would you put up with a domestic violence situation? Would you put up with being beat up, kick, punch, hurt, humiliated, dissed, fronted on? cheated on and all everything that comes with physical and emotional abuse if the money was right if your man or your woman was keeping your pockets fat keeping you laced with jewels cars roof overhead taking care of your kids would you put up with a situation where they were violent where they were abusive the crazy thing about it is some people put up with this for free we may know some people that have put up with it for free. I mean, that's just the way it is. That's the way of the world. But sometimes when you watch somebody else do it, we say to ourselves, like, that couldn't be me. Or I got my own. I'm always had my own. I'm going to take care of myself. So it don't matter how much somebody is giving me or trying to give me. I'm more than likely going to refuse that money because I don't need it like that. But the truth of the matter is we all find ourselves, well, let me put it like this we can all find ourselves in a situation where we need some help financially. So, and many of us, many of us have a value system that values the money over everything else. So as long as the money is right, anything that you go through, anything that somebody puts you through is okay. Any stressful situation is all right as long as that cash is right. I mean, think about it. A lot of people feel that way. I don't feel that way, and I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right for somebody to put their hands on you and feel like they, they have the right to do that just because they're keeping you right. The crazy thing about it is some people, some people, mostly men, I, I'll admit that, what they'll do is they'll abuse their woman and you know, come home, smack up, beat up in front of the kids or whatever. And then they'll go out, they'll stay away for a little while. Maybe the cops come, maybe they don't. And then they'll come back and they'll they'll treat the situation. They bring they bring it home all kinds of gifts, you know, new stuff, and everything gets forgiven and you start all all start all over again. It's a vicious cycle. But the worst part about it is the kids see this and they get involved. For a man, for a young man, it's hard to watch your mom get beat up. That's a hard situation to watch because you feel compelled to protect your mom. But how can you protect your mom against your dad? Or how can you protect your mom against a man that you've known as your father? Or that's been playing the role as your father? And he's coming through. He might be lacing you. He might be making sure you got J's on feet. Fly jacket, pelly pelly on back. You know, earrings in ear, chain on neck, whatever. But what you put up with? Oh, oh, I, I didn't even get into the, the little girls, the little girls that watch that domestic violence situation. How do we handle that? When they see when they see their mom getting treated that way, what's going to stop them from getting a boyfriend like that and feeling like as long as he's paying her way, that it's all right for him to put his hands on her any kind of way he wants to. And it ain't always just cheap. I mean, I'm sorry. It ain't always just violence. Sometimes it's the other things, the emotional abuse, and that don't go away. That's not something you can fix in in the emergency room. That's something that you might have to fix on sitting on the couch with a with a shrink, trying to work that work that out of you. That emotional abuse cuts deep. It cuts deep, deep, deep. Stays with some people forever. So, along with the along with the the, the physical abuse. You know, somebody telling you that you ain't shit, or that you a hoe, or that you ain't, you wasn't nothing before they came along, or that you ain't gonna never be nothing if they leave, or that they the only ones who love you, and ain't nobody gonna put up with your shit except for them. So you better take this ass whooping, or you better take the, or take whatever I give you. Making making people feel like they're a prisoner in their own home. I mean, it's serious stuff. It's serious. And you know, truth be told, in the 90th percentile of women have been through this in some kind of way in their lifetime. 
So with all these people, you know, all these chicks running around here talking about somebody couldn't beat me, uh, 90th percentile. Yeah, it all depends on who's taking the statistics, but you know what I'm talking about. You know, from a personal level, everybody knows what they've been through. But I'm just asking a question. Would you put up with that? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Somebody drive, making sure that you ride around in a Benz, fur coat, diamonds, ice everywhere, million-dollar home, kids taken care of, money in the bank. Would you put up with it? Sadly enough, a lot, of, a lot of people put up with it for a lot less. I want to be sure to head with it, but I'm just asking a question. And we, these are some of the things that we need to think about, especially around this season. It's Christmas season. And Christmas is in five days, so we gotta ask ourselves the question: Like, what we doing? Where your head? Where's your head at? Where's your value system at? Just something to think about, man. You know what I mean? Give, you know, rest on that for a little while. And um, if you know somebody that's going through that situation, try to give them some help. You can't force the help on them. Just put the bug in their head. Ask them where their head is at. Ask them where their heart is at. See how it goes down. I'm Sun752, and this is your daily go get them Remember, good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for it. So go hard. Go for yours. Don't let yourself be a victim of nothing. No, no violence and no, no emotional abuse. Just because somebody is paying your way, you can make your own way. You know, it might not be as good of a way financially, but it'll always keep keep this right. You can keep that right. You can keep anything right. I'll holler at y'all tomorrow.